As kids here in Australia, we put the footy boots away and suddenly it's summer. Time for cricket, out in the street. Mum and Dad calling us in for dinner and we're begging, one more, one more, mate. Look out, there's a car coming. Okay, quick, one more before dinner, one more. Down to the beach, more cricket. That spectacular one-handed catch diving into the surf. Mine! Ah, summer. And of course, that white floppy hat. What a ridiculous fashion statement. As the years go by, you suddenly drive into club cricket with the radio blaring with your favourite tune, banging the steering wheel, cheering on your mates, those cold beers afterwards, and of course, the friendships that last forever. When I first played Ashes cricket, back in the early 90s, a lot of those POM mates would spend hours drinking and laughing together in the change rooms after a long, tough day. For the next day, you're into them all. Bloody POMs. You can't let them beat you at anything. Monopoly, marbles. Next thing you know, they'll be thinking they can beat you at cricket. Alistair Cook and England, Ashes winners 2013. And sure, the tables might have turned in recent times, but now, now is the time. Now's the time to stamp back our authority, to defend our fortress. In the right spirit, of course, in the nicest possible way, we want to make them feel horribly uncomfortable. We want to see our players strutting from the dressing room with their chest pumped out like our friend David Hasselhoff. We want to see the gadding ball. He's done it. Gooch punching in denial. Harmison striking Ponting at Lords. England, 2005. Mike Hussey hitting through cover at Amazing Adelaide. Nasser Hussain, the beak, 200 at Edge Baston. Tubby's true grit. Well played into the gap of I love Tubbs, the, the finest captain I ever played under. Rallying the troops. <laughs> Let's get all over him like a cheap suit, guys. <laughs> NASA. It's getting closer. And he's been given out. One brings two, lads. Let's get that one. Look out. Here comes the walking ego. Kevin Smasham Peterson. Get him around his legs. Got him. Don't you get out now, Athers. Don't you get out to McGrath again. I want to get you, Athers. It's my turn this time. Don't deny me that. Ah! Oh! He's done him. Bat and bat and bat. Bowl until your fingers burn. And blister. Then bowl some more. Get ready. Loosen those vocals up, Tubbs. Here it comes. A hat trick. It's never far away. Oh, that ball is close. He's got it. As a boy, I loved seeing Lily steaming in with his shirt unbuttoned and his chains flying north, south, east and west. Bold Lily caught Marsh and Chaps, batting with his collar turned up, adjusting his box. Go Good Chaps. Shot. Pigeon, my mate Pigeon. To me, Beefy epitomised everything England. Oh, and he's got him. Ian Botham, big, bold and brash. That bulldog in him. He seemed to have the power to drag the rest of them along with him. And the crowds, they loved it. This summer, at Stuart Broad. Oh, my goodness me. We want to see him get smashed, get nothing, and go home. We have a world-class batsman in Pup, one of the very, very best. So here we go. Here we go. One more. One more. There's a car coming. Still one more. Suddenly, we're here at the Gabba. The first test, Australia versus England on the one and only Nines Wide World of Sports. It's got to be summer.